In this episode, we're going to talk about best response. Let's start with the definition. So a strategy, a mixed strategy uh, of player I, sigma I, is the best response to his opponent's strategy, sigma sub minus I, if uh, the following inequality holds for every SI. So what is this inequality? The inequality says player I prefers playing sigma I, all right, uh, over all the possible strategies, pure strategies, player I might have. All right, so here the important thing is we do have a comparison. So here, unlike the strictly dominated strategies, we cannot say that the best response is a better strategy or best strategy because here the best response is a better strategy only if the opponent's playing some fixed uh, strategy profile, which is sigma minus i. Well, this definition does not say anything about uh, how sigma i is going to be compared to uh, other strategies of player i if his opponents play something other than sigma minus i. All right, so therefore, a best response is the best strategy fixing the opponent's strategy, all right? So the dominant strategy, if you remember, is the best, universally best strategy because whatever the other guys, your opponents do, this strategy, the, the dominant strategy, is gonna give you higher, strictly higher payoff. Well, here, first of all, it's not strict, all right? And second of all, um, it doesn't say that it's going to give you higher payoff uh, regardless of what your opponents do, because we do not say this is true for every sigma minus i. This is true only for some sigma minus i. If this is the case, well, then sigma i is the best response to sigma minus i. All right? Well, equivalently, we can define best response as follows. So sigma i is the best response to sigma minus i if, instead of this, I'm going to say, utility of playing sigma i is at least as good as utility of playing any other mixed strategy. So here, in this equality, inequality, I'm sorry, we compare sigma i with all the best, uh, oh, I'm sorry, all the pure strategies player i has. Here, however, we're comparing sigma i with all the mixed strategies he has. So it's like, uh, in, in this one, I'm comparing some smaller set of strategies. Here, I'm comparing sigma i with a larger set of strategies. So it may seem like these two definitions are not equivalent, but in fact, they are equivalent. Well, why is that so? Well, here's the reason. Well, first of all, uh, consider this, all right? So what is this payoff? Well, this payoff is an expected payoff, right? Sigma i prime sigma minus i is the expected payoff, and this is how we write it. Its summation, si is an element of capital Si, sigma i prime Si, multiplied by ui Si sigma minus i. All right, so sigma i prime is a mixed strategy, a probability distribution over his pure strategies. So I just multiply the probability of each uh, pure strategy he's playing times his utility he's going to get at that strategy, uh, conditional on his opponents are playing sigma minus i. All right, okay. Well, given that this is true, well, obviously, if this is true, this must be true, right? Why is that? Well, here, again, sigma i is better than everything fixing sigma minus i. And here, it's better just for some things. So if this is true, this must be true. Or put differently, remember, every pure strategy is also mixed strategy. So therefore, this inequality already holds for pure strategy. So therefore, this must be true. What I want to show is that if this is true, this is also true. How can I show that? Well, suppose this guy is true. So utility i, sigma i, sigma minus i is greater than or equal to utility si, sigma minus i for every si in element of si. All right, so what I want to do is the following. I would, so because this is true for every si, 
If I multiply, uh, sorry, I should have written it this way, greater than or equal to uh, ui sigma i sigma minus i. Okay, so you'll see why I need this space. So what I'm going to do, because this is true for every si, all right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply each of those payoffs with this guy, this probability, sigma i prime si, all right, and then sum them up, si in si. Of course, in order not to change the inequality, the sign of the inequality, I have to do the same thing here, sigma i prime si, sum si element of capital si. Okay, so again, if this is true for every si, well then this uh, has to be true. So I can get rid of this uh, every si. Okay, well, so what is this? Well, utility or the payoff sigma i sigma minus i has nothing to do with sigma prime uh, si. So therefore I can take this out. And what is this probability? Remember, sigma i prime is a mixed strategy, meaning it is a probability distribution over si. So when I add uh, all those probabilities, it must add up to one. So therefore, the left-hand side is nothing but ui sigma i sigma minus i. Okay? Well, what about this? Well, I just told you this is nothing but uh, utility of sigma i prime sigma minus i. All right? Well, this inequality holds for all sigma i prime, which is a mixed strategy. Sigma i prime element of sigma i, right? Because otherwise, I mean, if those weights are not probability distributions, well, even though they are not probability distribution, this inequality must be satisfied. So therefore, uh, the, the left-hand side is equal to this, the right-hand side is equal to this, and this inequality holds for all sigma i prime in capital sigma i. So therefore, if this is, is inequality is true, and therefore this inequality must be true, all right? So, uh, well, why do I say this? Uh, why I sort of argue that these two inequalities or statements are uh, identical? Well, because sometimes, and in many environments, we say the following. So sigma i is a best response to sigma minus i if it solves the following maximization problem. Maximize ui uh, sigma i, or just sigma, well, sigma i, sigma i star, all right? I, I just wanna use a different notation. So sigma i star is the best response to sigma minus i if it solves utility sigma i sigma minus i where sigma i is an element of capital, right? So uh, the solution of the utility map, right? I mean, uh, a, this is identical to this one. Uh, so if a strategy, mixed strategy is the best response, it is basically the best strategy given that your opponent's strategy is fixed. You, know, right? you can't change it. So therefore, it's basically your payoff is maximized uh, once your opponent's strategy is fixed as sigma minus i, uh, when you play sigma i star. And so therefore, this is a best response strategy. Now I'm going to define a best response set. Best response set. Sometimes we call it best response function. Well, actually the most correct the uh, title would be best response correspondence. All right, so uh, best response correspondence means, well, it's not a function because for some values, uh, it may take set value, all right? Meaning uh, the best response uh, for some uh, strategy profile uh, may have just one single element, single strategy but sometimes it has, you know, many strategies, all right? So how do we define the best response? Well, the best response verbally is the set of strategies that are best response to the opponent's strategy sigma minus i. Don't forget this. Whenever, when, so when we define dominance, strict dominance, we never really talk about opponent's strategy. 
all right? Because the dominant strategy is universally better. However, when we talk about um, a best response, the best response is a concept, a conditional concept, and it depends on the other player's strategy. So fixing the other player's strategy, so sigma minus i, what is the set of strategies that are best response to it? Well, simple, mathematically, it's the mixed strategy sigma i such that the payoff uh, of player i playing sigma i is greater than or equal to the payoff of playing uh, any other strategy, any other pure strategy he might have. Okay? Uh, again, conditional on the opponents are playing sigma minus i. So here, again, the best response for some uh, strategy profiles may be singleton, meaning there's only one uh, strategy or maybe infinitely many. So here, two very important remarks. The first remark is the following. So suppose that two pure strategies, SI, SI prime, are uh, in this set, meaning they are best response to the opponent's strategy sigma minus i. Right? So both SI and SI prime are best response to this. Well, that means their utilities, right? so whenever a player i plays SI or SI prime, Again, conditional on the other player's strategies fixed to S as sigma minus i, the utilities are going to be the same. Well, why? Well, look, if SI is the best response, that means UI SI sigma minus i is greater than payoff of all the other strategies, including SI prime. Well, again, if SI prime is the best response, its utility is also greater than or equal to all the other uh, strategies pay off, including SI. So therefore, we cannot have one is, one's payoff is strictly higher than the other. They, their payoff must be the same. Again, this is true if both SI and SI prime are best response. Well, what else? Well, any mixed strategy which uses SI and SI prime, meaning put some positive probabilities on these two, and only on these two, are also a best response, okay? Well, why is that so? Don't forget, uh, uh, the payoff of a mixed strategy is a convex combination or weighted average. So if the payoff of SI and SI prime are the same, any mixed strategy, any mixed strategy that puts positive weight only those two strategies, its expected payoff is also equal to those guys. And therefore, it is also best response. So what does that mean? That means if there are two pure strategy, uh, which are best response to some uh, strategy profile, well, then there are actually infinitely many uh, mixed strategies in the best response. Okay? Well, what else? Suppose that a mixed strategy is a best response for player i to some uh, uh, strategy profile sigma minus i. So I, I fix it. Well, then that means, remember sigma i is just this, sigma i s1, uh, sigma i, I'm sorry, s i, s i prime, sigma i, s i double prime. I don't know how many strategy available, pure strategy, s i, you know, number of s i. So, I'm, I'm sorry, sigma i, sigma i. So these are the probabilities, right? So the sigma i is a probability distribution over all possible pure strategies. Okay, so therefore, so every pure strategy in its support, remember the definition of support? So every pure strategy in its support, the utility or the payoff must be the same, all right? Um, and also, every pure strategy in the support of this mixed strategy is also best response, all right? So once again, uh, you know, these arguments are true. Why is that? So for example, suppose that this is not true. I mean, they're not equal. So both SI and SI prime are in the support. However, for example, one has a strictly higher payoff. Well, then that means I can generate another strategy profile, sigma I prime. So what I do, I keep all those probabilities fixed. 
Remember, SI prime gives less utility. And so what I do, I define it as follows. This is sigma i s plus sigma i s i prime. So I put this probability onto the strategy s and give probability zero to the uh, strategy SI prime, and I keep everything else the same. All right, so this is another mixed strategy. So if you add up all those probabilities, they're gonna add up to one, because they are add up, adding up to one, all right? And the thing is, the expected utility of this uh, mixed strategy is going to be strictly higher than the expected utility of sigma i. Well, why is that so? Well, because remember, this was, uh, I'm sorry, the S sigma i's prime's utility was less than the si's, uh, uh, I'm sorry, SI prime's utility was less than SI's utility. And so now I'm giving zero weight to this and more weight to this. So when I calculate expected payoff, meaning the weights times the payoffs and add them up, well, obviously this payoff, the expected payoff of this mixed strategy is going to be higher than the expected payoff of this strategy, which contradicts with the fact that sigma i is in fact a best response because I found another mixed strategy uh, which is better than sigma i. So it's a contradiction. So you know what? We cannot have one greater than the other. They must have exactly the same. So if si is in the support, meaning it's a positive probability, well then its payoff is exactly equal to si prime. If si prime is also support in the support, meaning th this probability is positive. And so every other strategy, pure strategy, which has positive probability, meaning in the support, must have exactly the same payoff, all right? And I think that is, is, is more obvious as long as si, the pure strategy is in the support, well, it must be in the best response because all of those guys have exactly the same payoff, which is the payoff of sigma i, all right? So by the way, so this utility is equal to this utility, but it's also equal to utility of sigma i, sigma minus i. Because don't forget, uh, the, the utility, expected utility of the mixed strategy is just a, 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 a weighted average of the utility or the payoff of every pure strategy. But if each pure strategy's payoff is the same, well, then the weighted average is going to be the same. All right, so therefore, uh, SI, meaning every pure strategy in the support must be best response as well, okay? Um, so that's it. Just one more remark, um, if uh, the game doesn't have a continuous utility function or doesn't have a nice behaving uh, strategy space as I, well then the best response uh, correspondence uh, or the best response set may actually be empty. All right, so don't forget that. So the best response set may be empty, may have just one element, uh, but if, if it has two elements, it has actually infinitely many elements, okay?